So let's now try to understand how these models understand language or text. And one of the key components in doing that is understanding the concept of embeddings. So what are embeddings? Embeddings are nothing but representations of words or phrases in a continuous vector space. Now these embeddings are list of numbers. They capture the semantic relationship between words based on their context in a given corpus of text. Word embeddings or word vectors are created using another special family of models. For example, word to vec glove, fast text, sentence transformers, and others. These embeddings aim to capture the distributional similarity of words, which means the words appearing in similar contexts are represented as vectors that are closer in the vector space. Let's see this with the help of a quick example. If, for example, you have this entire paragraph, uh, the first thing to do is to break them down into what is called as tokens. The tokens can be complete words, they can be subwords, they can be punctuation marks. The very first step which happens when the, the model looks at text is breaking them down into tokens. Each of these tokens is then given a token ID, which represents a unique key based on the size of your dictionary. So every token is represented by a unique token ID. And then each of these token IDs, with the help of the embedding model, then gets converted into a word vector or a series of numbers. These numbers are what the model sees. So the model does not see text, the model sees a bunch of numbers, and we know that computers only work with numbers. So these numbers, which can run into hundreds representing each token, or it could even run into thousands, represent in some way the meaning of the word in their in a multidimensional space. So if it's a 512 list which captures the meaning of a word, each of these 512 numbers capture some characteristic or attribute of the word. And that also means that these vectors can then be manipulated and interesting comparisons can be made in terms of similarity, in terms of adding these vectors, subtracting these vectors. Because once you project them into a multi-dimensional space, they exhibit some remarkable mathematical manipulations through which you can derive the meaning and context of these numbers or vectors. So for example, here we see male and female have a consistent distance and angle between them in a three-dimensional space represented here in two dimensions. Similarly, verbs walked versus walking, swam versus swimming, and even country capital. Uh, they can be derived using the directional and distance property of them. Here's a quick example of four words, rep each represented, or four tokens, each represented as a series of numbers. And what is interesting about these vectors is once you project them into this multi-dimensional space, vectors which are similar in their characteristics are often clustered together or grouped together, which means we can do mathematical calculations and find similarities and meanings based on the distance of these. Now, let's sum up our understanding with this uh, sentence. This is a great video. First, it gets tokenized. Each of these tokens are represented by a token ID and each of these token IDs is then mapped into a word embedding or a word vector.